right. So, I just got through finish. Uh, I just finished watching the episode of Queen Sugar. Okay. So, who burnt the meal down? Who burnt the meal down? Um, first of all, let me say this much. Like, who's doing the... I know, like, in the commercials, they show the person who's doing the actual... I don't know what it's called. It's the center photography or the people who do the pictures or, you know, the scenes. I don't know if it's the director. Damn, I can't think of the name of it. But they are doing the awesome job like everybody just looked flawless like everybody in the episode just looked they just looked flawless in the episode and like you know you know how they were the direction and how they were taking their pictures and the different scenes it was like everybody just looked so good like Ralph Angel ooh, ooh, mm. ooh. that Ralph Angel baby oh he looked so good uh, <laughs> Oh, okay. Mm. Back to who burnt the meal down. Okay. Um, Nova is there. Um, Micah's there. And uh, Raph Angel, he's there. And so the fireman comes and he tells them that it was possibly arson and all this other stuff that could have been going on, which they're like, she wasn't even there and there was no other things that could have been going on with the meal. So, you know, immediately it sounds like a setup. Like off off the back, it just sounded like a setup. And um Charlie is destroyed. She is she is destroyed. So, you know, while they're at the scene still, here comes old Nova. She running up like 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 everything is cool. No, we still not cool, Nova. It still has something to do with you and this book. Like, we still mad over this book. I don't know. Maybe Nova thought that, oh, it's a fire. You know, something going on with the family. I know they, they got to be okay now. No, that didn't do it. Mm, try oops, try something else. And, um, I mean, the way they looked at her and they told her, you know, don't come over here. We don't need you. We don't need your two cents. <laughs> You've already given 10 cents. And we, in this messed up situation, we definitely don't need your extra two cents. So you can go on ahead and go about your business. So, I know they really hurt Nova, like, really bad, but, I mean, Nova, really? Like, uh, I don't think she understands the depth. It's not like she went and told people in the town, you wrote this in a national selling book, meaning that anybody can go and read this information and keep this information, like... Whew, it's going to take a lot to come back from this, Nova. I'm sorry. Um, they also show Aunt Vi at the restaurant and Sam Landry, he comes in and basically Aunt Vi is like, look, I don't know if you're behind this and if you're behind it, you need to make it stop. And he's like, you know, I wouldn't do anything like this to this extent to your family. She's like, look, why she eating her little uh, parfait or <laughs> whatever she was eating. She like, look, Whatever it is, you need to take care of it. It needs to be done. You need to do what you got to do. Or I'm going to make my phone call. Oh, 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 he got mad. I wonder who. Who is it that she going to call? It's somebody that they know that's higher. Always remember. When you think you're the big bad person, it's always somebody bigger. It's always somebody bigger like i tell my daughter you know everybody gonna everybody has a boss everybody has a boss remember that so you know it's somebody you know unvi she got something up her sleeve because remember that they have been knowing each other since like the beginning those families know each other you know they're really really close so i wonder who um uh, if I can call, you know, she gonna call him. She need to, you know. So Charlie and 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 Ralph Angel, they they go to um Miss Francis uh Boudreaux's office, and you know she tell Ralph Angel stand in front of the door. You know he's like I got it. <laughs> you know she just you know Charlie storms in there because she's upset. You know she goes in there and um. Well, when I think about Miss Francis, I think about antebellum days. 
Like, she just really told her off like this was like 1862 or 1864 at during Civil War. You know, he told she told her she was a mulatto girl thinking that she's white and I feel sorry for your mother and I'm glad that the meal got burnt down to put you in your place. Like, and then you want to turn around and talk about a sisterhood. Like, who are you playing? Like, the minute you saw her and then everything with Jacob was at a setup. Well, you know, my boys, they do stray, but they always come back. What kind of crap is that? Like, it was just, it was just that conversation she had. That was a lot. And that's not the first conversation Charlie has had with her. That's like the second one. I think they did that to make us riled up because that was some bull crap for real. Like, I don't, mm mm. That was too much. Like, she just really went back in time and that just lets you know that there are some people who still feel that way. You know, it's unfortunate, you know, and they don't like her having all that power, you know, and they would, you know, something about this world energy is out of everybody's, it's just out of everything out of everybody's hands. And I don't think that's true. It's not out of everybody's hands. It's just that they choosing to, you know, kind of go with this company. So, you know, they, they got on record though. Of her saying all this stuff about Charlie, but they don't have exactly, you know, her saying who actually did it. That's the only thing they don't have. So, whew, it was just, that was a really, really deep conversation. So, you know, Darla, they show her at home and she hears about the meal. She immediately runs to find out, you know, what's going on with Raph Angel. Raph Angel is on the porch. I know her name now. It's Disha. Um, he, you know, he's talking to Disha about the case. And um, Darla runs up, you know. Ralph Angel, I'm just calling. I just came by to check on you to make sure you're okay. And he's like, I'm good. You know, and Disha, I already know the situation. Like, I like that. You know, she don't have to go into detail. Like, you see Blue. You know that's Blue Baby Mama. Come on now. And they didn't even say too much. And I don't think they had to. No discussion. You know, she understood. Darla understood when Disha put her hand on Ralph Angel. Like, mm, yeah, you know, <laughs> he's okay. But, you know, Darla is really going through it. And, damn, I still hope she don't relapse. I, I really do. Um, Nova. Nova goes to Prophet. She goes to the Prophet. You know, here she goes back. And I saw a picture, a painting of Aunt Vi in the background of her restaurant. It was really, really nice. I like that. That was cool. So she goes to the um to the restaurant and um she talks to Prophet. And Prophet breaks down the story about what really happened. You know, Nova thinks that her dad killed the white man when actually he just buried all the stuff he was going to kill him with. He dropped the man off at the hospital. And Prophet said he read the book. God, did everybody read this book? Did everybody read this damn, like the whole, everybody read this book. So I'm glad Prophet, Prophet, he set the record straight. God damn. Shoot. Mm, mm, mm. Hollywood back, y'all. Hollywood comes in the door gives old Violet a hug and a kiss and she's smiling from ear to ear you know he ain't gonna let too much happen to his boo shoot he back he is back um rap angel goes in front of the board the board meeting you know they're really testing him he has this re-entry program you know for the convicted felons and i feel like they um they went too far well, we saw what was, you know, they say we saw what was on the news and, you know, how is this going to affect you paying your workers? And we think we need to do further investigating. Like, really? You all do not see that he's trying to give some people a second chance. You rather just tear the whole thing down and not even see this person trying to come up. The Boudreaux's are behind that, too. You know, so they that was like crazy. I was like, what? That's fucked up. Like. Damn, that, <clears throat> that's messed up. Like, you're going to not, 
let him give people who are trying to get second chances because you think, well, how are you going to, you know, that was a loss, but he would find something, you know, he's going to come up with something. And I'm glad that Disha is there to help him because these people are tripping. Like, I, I don't, mm. Mm, mm, mm. and Nova, you know, she back at home and she has her little breakdown moment. She realizes or she thinks that she really lost her family. Like, and, you know, she needed to have this breakdown moment. I'm glad she did have this breakdown moment because it gave her a chance to fucking break down and feel what the hell they feeling. You know, being portrayed it, being, you know. So, um, the police boo, he calls her and, you know, try to comfort her and he comes over. Um, while he comes over, Micah shows up to give her back her key. And he's like, oh. This is the policeman you were talking about in your book. And he really shed some light on her. Like, you know, you can be in a relationship and you can separate things. Like, you know, no matter how bad you probably think it is, no matter how bad you probably think it is, you know, when you think the sex is good, I mean, you know, everything else is being blocked. Like, I don't even care what you got going on personally in your life. You know, I just know that this right here, I'm focused, but you know, Micah really brought, you know, brought it to her attention and got her refocused. Like, look, man, this the same policeman who, you know, is around other cops that did the same thing that did, that, that they did to me. And it had her thinking, she never even asked him about it. And she's supposed to be not anti y'all. It's pro, pro black, you know. And she got the guts up to kind of ask him, and he he was honest, you know. I mean, at this point, I mean, there's no no use to you lying. He was like, yeah, I did witness it, and no, I ain't do nothing about it. And she was like, well, did running away, you know, have something to do with, you know, make it better? And I, you no. Know. So what you gonna do now, Nova? Hmm. She's just gonna break with him. I really think that they put her lad, her lovers in her way just so that she can close chapters in her life, maybe. Still don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure that part out why. Oh, let's talk about the dinner. Disha and Ralph Angel, they have a dinner and he's just so thankful. And like I said again, that center photography, they made him look so good. Woo! And um, I think that's really turning her on. And Ralph Angel have his little breakdown moment, like I'm hurting and people so lucky, and they got so much going on for them. Tell me about what you got going on. And that's when you know Disha tells about a story. But I thought she had a daughter. She said her son when she was breastfeeding. I caught that. I don't know. We'll find out more. So, you know, just to get on, you know, so she can say, hey, I can understand what you're going through. You know, you're going to go through a rough patch. I'm, sometimes it gets rough <sighs> before it gets better. The blessing is right around the corner. At least that's what I keep convincing myself in, in this job hunt. Yeah, me looking for a job. <sighs> but anyway. So, you know, she goes to his lap and she says, um, no, he says, you know, stay the night with me. Hey, no. Hey, no. So, you know, they made love and she spent the night. And meanwhile, Darla's still having a damn breakdown moment. I have to talk to Ralph Angel. So, right, she calls and Ralph Angel, he understands. He sits up and talks to her and stuff. Because he don't want her to relapse either. You know what I'm saying? I think um, old Blue is over aunt by house spending the night and stuff like that so then you know we go to micah and his girlfriend you know they're making out in the car and she was like i thought i thought she was gonna say she was pregnant when she said she had something to tell him but no we need to make plans for the plan make plans for the prom i guess plans to have sex after the prom i didn't even realize micah was still a virgin I thought she was going to say she was pregnant. I was like, oh, here, here we go. So, I guess they're going to plan to do the booty, I guess. Um, okay. <laughs> TV world. <laughs> so, you know, Charlie, let's go to Charlie again. Charlie 
is at home and she has her breakdown moment. She got to figure out who's behind the meal, who's trying to set her up, figure out what she going to do for the meal. Rap Angel can't pay his workers. He talks to, he talks to them, tell them. And then, you know, that was just like some real people. What, what I'm going to tell my wife, you know? So, you know, he's sad about that, but I'm pretty much sure Disha going to find out something for him. Sorry. I digress. Um, so um, I just had to add that in there. So, you know, Charlie have her breakdown moment. She goes to the mill. She's trying to sweep, come up with a plan, take pictures, like any damn thing that come in my head, like everything. Old Sam Landry shows up. Why? Why? You know, I'm sorry about this. And, you know, this isn't anything that I would do not in this way, you know, from one business owner to another. She's like, look, get your ass on somewhere. Go sit your ass down. Bye. Dismissed. I don't want to see you. Shit. So I think he really, I think he feels a little bad about what happened. And he might just try to help her because I told you, I got her pudding. I'm going to make that phone call. I'm going to make that phone call. <laughs> Last but not least, Charlie's at home. She has her glass of wine. She's sitting down and who no other than her PA boo knocks on the door with the newspaper in his hand. I told y'all he was going to find out and I told y'all that's how they was going to break up. Is this true? Did you really do this? Did you have workers work during the storm and they got killed? And she was like, well, fuck it. Yep, I did. You know, but, you know, my business. And he was like, look, you are still alive. Your business, I understand your stuff burned down. But are you this person? You know, is that you? And she said, well, I tried to make it right. But he was like, you know, she just said, fuck it. Yep, that's me. That is me. That's her. By any means necessary. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not so good. You know, so. Oh, that's the end of their relationship. This is the storm that's coming through. And it's passing. It's passing. So we all have our storms. They come through, they pass. But right behind the storm is sunshine and a rainbow. Thank you. Bye.